Howdy, Mary. Well, hi, Darren. What you got in the sprayer? Uh, it's glyphosate. Ugh. Are you aware of the dangers of weed killers like that? Um, not really. Seriously? This stuff's poison. And a suspected carcinogen. You know, there's a bunch of lawsuits pending against companies that make and sell that stuff. Well, I can't just let the weeds overrun my yard. I hear you. You know, there's a homemade spray you can make with white vinegar, salt, and soap that'll do the trick safely. And there are some organic products you can buy at the store. Come on, Roger. Okay. <laughs> yeah, have a nice day. Bye, Darren. Well, what did he want? I don't know. He was just telling me about the dangers of weed killers. And since when do you not talk when someone says hi to you? Since he got touched in the head, became a holy roller, and a health Nazi. Oh, Roger. You guys have been friends since you were kids. So what? Sometimes God intervenes in a friendship to end it when it's become toxic. He and his kind are the devil's servants, pretending to be so special in God's eyes. He claims he got filled with the Holy Ghost. Right. He just full of himself. Oh. Where's Brianna? She's up in the house watching cartoons. Okay. So are you going to do this all day long, or are you going to go fix me some breakfast? I'm starving, okay? Well, then let me get right on it. Here, will you put this up then? Thank you. Thanks. Brianna Grace! Hey there! You know what's wrong with you. Nothing. You're right. Absolutely nothing. You're like Mary Poppins. Practically perfect in every way. Who loves you more than anybody in the whole wide world? You do, Grandpa. You're right. And don't you ever forget it. You're my miracle granddaughter. Hey, you wanna go get some breakfast? Let's do it. There we go. Grandma's got some good food ready for us. Let's go see what she's got. If you want to make Jesus the Lord of your life tonight, I want you to come up here tonight and make a public confession. Will you choose to live for the one who gave his life in his blood, who suffered? the pain and humiliation of a scourging, whipping, and crucifixion? I will if you will. Did you know you're like a brother to me, Roger? How would you know? You got all sisters. When we first moved to town, you were about the only one that was friendly to me. A lot of kids in this town are jerks. Yeah, but it's cool that you weren't one of them. You know, we really are brothers in Christ now. I guess we are. Blood brothers. Hey, how about we pledge to always be there for each other? Pastor said that the Christian walk is hard. Sometimes people can go down the wrong path. We should vow to always be there for the other one, in case he gets lost. Pinky swear? No, Darren. I'm pretty sure the Bible says we shouldn't swear. We can make a promise. I There's an issue that we need to discuss in this elders meeting. I know that there are people from our church attending revival at that charismatic church up on the highway. I think we need to lay down the law with these people and command them to stay away from those heretics. Why do you call them heretics? I mean, that's such a strong word. Are you kidding? They're as flaky as a dude on a head and shoulders commercial. Just a bunch of emotional fur that they identify as spirituality. You know, Jesus did warn us about being lukewarm. 
Hold on just a second. Are, are you defending those people? Yeah. I am defending those people because... because I'm one of them. I was recently baptized in the Holy Spirit. This is a joke, Darren. It is not funny. I'm not joking. Then we need to relieve you of your duties from this board of elders before you infect other innocent souls. <clears throat> Roger, Roger. Likes it. That's something we're going to have to vote on. We're just going to have that. Oh, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. I'll just save you the grief of taking a vote. I resign. Darren, if you don't recant your position, we are also going to vote to remove your name from the membership of this church. That's right. Well, as Jean-Luc Picard would say, make it so. Hey. Oh, hi. Where you been? I ran to the store to get some hair coloring. My gray is peeking through again. So how was your ride? It was good. I did run into Roger Hendricks, though. Oh, then your ride obviously was not perfect. I just don't get it. You two were Little League playmates and even double dated to the prom. And you were tennis double partners for years. How can he just toss your friendship in the garbage can? You already know that answer. You know, when I came out of the closet as a spirit-filled believer, I knew that things like this would result. I counted the cost and chose to stay true to Jesus and just let the chips fall as they may. I just didn't realize that Roger was going to be one of those chips that fell. He thinks he's being true to Jesus by rejecting you and your newfound spirituality. I know, I know, I know. Roger thinks that I worship a different Jesus now than he does. That's crazy. Jesus even said his followers would perform miracles in his name. In fact, in Mark and the Great Commission, he even commanded his apostles to do so. Yeah. You know, the devil always tries to divide and conquer. If he can drive a wedge between Christians, he will not hesitate one instant to just drive that hammer home. That's what's so sad about this situation. While brothers and sisters in the Lord are duking it out over doctrine and politics, Satan's winning major battles. And the Father's heart is breaking. He wants his church to be one, just as he and Jesus were. I know. But we can't abandon the gifts that God has given us just so we can be on the same page as our brothers and sisters. They need to come up to where we are, or at least try to understand where we are. We're not going to step back to them. You know, Every night I pray for Roger and people like him that they'll be able to see and, and embrace God's full truth. Not for my sake, but for theirs and for the body of Christ as a whole. Me too. Why don't you go ahead and take your shower? I can take a subtle hint. <laughs> By the way, you don't have to color your hair for me. I'm going to give you just 40 years to stop that. In 40 years, you'll probably be having an angel giving you a massage. I thought I did now. Funny. What are you doing? Oh, I ran across this thread on Facebook that's driving me up a wall. Not again. Yeah. There's a bunch of spiritual piranhas attacking everybody in the body of Christ who doesn't believe or even think exactly like they do, or even associates with such people. Oh, no. What's the matter? Roger's posting on this thread. The nemesis on your premises. Oh, my. They're bad-mouthing some of the spiritual giants of the faith. Some of their targets are my heroes. Is anyone sticking up for your heroes, or are they all monkey-piling? Pretty much the whole barrel of monkeys is piling on, it looks like. Well, why don't you jump in? Uh-huh. The old fools rush in where angels fear to tread trick. I'm passing on that one. Well, you may not change all of their opinions, but you might reach one or a few individuals and give them some food for thought. 
You know, Jesus said he would stand up for those who stand up for him. Well, Roger thinks he's standing up for him. Actually, Roger's denying the Holy Spirit. You know, the Bible doesn't say anything about denying the Holy Spirit. True, but it does mention blaspheming him. Yeah. If the works of the Spirit are attributed to the devil, would that not be blaspheming him? Maybe. <laughs> the unpardonable sin. <sighs> I guess I better throw my two cents in. Is my 40 years up already? I can take a subtle hint. Lala, this is how Grandma kills weed. Oops. Ew. Where's Brianna? I thought she was with you. Well, she was about an hour ago, but she said she wanted to go see Grandpa. I'm busy contending for the faith on Facebook. I told her I didn't have time to play. Let me check her room. Roger. There's just no sign of her anywhere in the house. Did you check in the garage? Okay, you do that. I'll check the yard, okay? Brianna! Brianna Grace! Brianna! Brianna! Roger! What? Roger! What is it? Come quickly! Oh no. Hurry, it's Brianna! Hurry! Oh, no. I don't even know what's wrong with Roger. Is she okay? She's still unconscious. It appears to be poisoning of some type. Do you have any idea what she got into? Got into? What do you mean? Well, she has some residue on her skin where something evaporated. And that very well could be the culprit here, so if you can tell us what it is, it'll help us treat her. We, we found her in the garage. Uh, I don't think it's gasoline. I, I would have recognized that smell, but I, I was frantic. Uh, could it be paint thinner? Could it be weed killer? Roger, did you put the dispenser up high on the shelf? That would do it. Can you counteract that? We can try, at least now I know what we're dealing with. If a patient responds within four to six hours, they usually recover. Usually? I'll keep you updated, but I gotta get back in and start treatment. Sure. Thanks for calling, bye. Who's that? That was Jessica calling from the prayer chain. Urgent intercession is needed for Roger's granddaughter, Brianna. She's in the hospital right now fighting for her life. Oh, no. Come on, let's pray. Amen. Amen. Honey, I really hate to do this to you, but I feel like God is telling me I need to go down to the hospital right now. And do what? I don't know yet. Maybe lay hands on Brianna and pray. Do you think Roger will let you? Probably not. But I gotta try. Okay. We well, gotta do what God wants you to do. I'll be here praying. I appreciate it. Uh. 
I'm afraid she's not responding. It's been over six hours. I know. It doesn't look good. Can we go see her? At this point, it can't do any harm. We, All we can do now is wait. We had to move her out of the ER, so now she's in room 14 in the children's ward. Do you know where that is? I do. Good. We strove to make those rooms look less like hospital rooms for the youngsters. I'll check back later. Roger. What are you doing here? Come to pray for us? As a matter of fact, I did. Go home. The Lord wants me here. Yeah, right. You mean the devil wants you here to stir up trouble. Roger. It's okay, Mary. He's under a lot of stress. I know how much he loves that little girl. Yes, I do. And God can take care of her just fine by himself without your assistance. So make yourself scarce. Look, I'm not leaving. I'm going to sit down in the waiting room. When you're ready for me to pray, you come get me. You're even crazier than I thought you were. What? Roger, what harm would it do to let him pray for her? He'd probably lay hands on her and part some kind of demon into her. Are you serious? Absolutely. Roger Hendricks. What? Oh my heavens. Are they okay? Oh no. And the little girl? Okay. Thank you. Who is it? It's the Georgia Highway Patrol. Jack and Nancy have been killed in an accident outside of Atlanta. What? What? No. Roger. Oh. What about Brianna? survived. He said it was a miracle. Oh, Mary. 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 Oh, Mary. 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 Roger. Oh. Roger. It's just a dream. It's okay. Priyana survived that horrendous car crash. Surely she's not gonna die now, right? I don't think I could survive this if she dies. And this is all my fault. If I hadn't demanded that you fix me breakfast immediately, you would put away the weed killer. And none of this would have ever happened. Darren is still waiting. Still? How do you know? I went to get a coffee. Roger, the doctor, came by. And he said that Brianna's chances were very poor. The doctor came by? Why didn't you wake me? You obviously needed some sleep. I can sleep when I'm dead. Brianna needs me here now. 
Well, maybe Darren needs to be here now. I'm not going there. What time is it anyway? It's 3 a.m. 3. And Darren is still here? Yes. He is. The big question, Roger, is are you going to let your stupid pride stand in the way of a possible healing for Brianna? I prayed for her. Yeah. And you don't even believe in healing. So how can your prayer do any good? I didn't want it to come to this, but... Roger, I love that little girl just as much as you do. You're going to play the stubborn mule card and not let Darren pray for her. And if Brianna dies, I'm moving out. Do you really mean that? Having that flake come in here is like grasping at straws. Well, maybe. Roger, straws are all we have. Aaron, he's a good man and he believes that God can heal. It, it won't cost anything except for your stupid, stupid pride just to give it a shot. Fine. Let's do it, but you go get him. I'll do that. This is not my idea. Doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is that the Lord heals Brianna. Amen. You know, I did a lot of praying while I was waiting. I felt the Lord wants us to do this together as a team and not just me pray over her. Whatever. Let's, let's just get to it before it's too late. Okay. Mary, I want you to put both your hands on Brianna. Roger and I will put one hand on Brianna and hold hands with the other one. God told you to do that, too? He did. Would you just do what he says, Roger? Okay, I want you two to pray along for her healing at the same time I'm praying. Father in heaven, we know that you love this little girl more than her grandparents even. We ask that you raise her up in complete health from this hospital bed right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Grandpa, I'm hungry. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. <laughs> Step back, folks. Let me examine three and a half. I don't know what to say. We might start with thank you and I'm sorry. My wife is very good at putting words in my mouth and, and this time I need her help. I'm a, I'm a bit in shock right now, but I do apologize profusely for the way that I've treated you. Darren, I already forgave you a long time ago. And don't even think about thanking me. God's the healer. I just did what he told me to. You really think God talks to us? Absolutely. Well, it appears that little Miss Sunshine is just fine. I want food. And that's a good sign. I'll have a nurse bring her some. Doctor, does this kind of poisoning happen often? Oh my gosh, yes. There are many thousands of such cases involving furniture polish, detergents, Bleach, pesticides, perfumes, cosmetics, even toilet water. A home is a veritable danger zone for kids. And not all cases turn out so happy. 
Oh, praise God, this one did. Amen. I'll go get the nurse and we'll get some food delivered. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Darren, I know it's late. <laughs> And you've been here a long time. Could you give Brianna and I just just a minute to celebrate? I know when her food gets here, she won't be interested in talking to me anymore. But Stan, I'd like to chat with you for a few minutes if that's okay. No problem, Mom. Thank you. so embarrassed. Apology just doesn't seem like enough. What can I do to make up for this idiocy? You know, all I ask is that you help narrow the gap between the charismatic and non-charismatic factions in the body of Christ. Go back out on Facebook on those heresy hunting threads that you've been on and testify about what you saw here tonight. I'll be branded a heretic in some of their eyes. Yeah. I know exactly how that works. Sorry. Consider it done. Uh, I'll lose a bunch of friends, friends, I'm sure. Yeah. But uh, I think I'm getting my best one back. Um, I'll probably have to change churches too. Grandpa, Jesus said he should show you a vision about your foot. You had a vision? Well, yeah, but how does Brianna know? While we were praying, uh, I had this vision of a hand slapping a foot in anger. It makes no sense. If the foot shall say, because I'm not a hand, I'm not part of the body, is it therefore not part of the body? Oh my, now I see. I've been guilty of using the A word, apostate the people of your particular brand of Christianity. I'm doing exactly what Paul warned us against. I've been such a fool. I don't have to embrace, I don't have to embrace your theology, but I also don't have to demonize it. You know, don't feel like the Lone Ranger. I've got a bunch of books at home written by people that railed against the gifts of the Spirit and the charismatic world until the Holy Spirit thrust himself into their lives. You know, this gap hasn't been helped either by some of the charismatics who took on a superiority complex because they discovered a truth that other people missed. I really think it's important that we evaluate love and fruit in addition with what the Bible says. After all, Scripture does say that we're going to know our brothers and sisters from the infiltrators and the false teachers that come along that Satan sends to disrupt this church in these last days. I'd like to borrow some of those books of yours. And I'd also like to renew a promise that we made a long time ago. Pinky swear? 